All right, this is Agilent E4407B Spectrum Analyzer, 9 kilohertz to 26.5 gigahertz, fully tested unit. This is the actual unit for sale, and let's see how it works. First, we'll see the option in this unit. It's loaded with options. I'll do a uh, system, more show system. As you can see, that's this is the, all the options in the unit. Many, many options, including narrow resolution bandwidth down to 1 hertz and high stability, time gated, RFP amplifier, GPIB, FMD modulation and fast sweep. So this is the options that do again here do the calibration signal output and frequency of 50 megahertz span let's say 10 megahertz this is the cal output as you can see it's very very accurate 50 megahertz on the spot at minus 20 dBm the tested uh, uh, calibration signal so this is uh, the unit it's fully tested and I also have a tracking generator here now let's connect here the tracking generator option have a problem but it is working so I'll show you what's the issue I'll do uh, I'll connect he connect here um, a filter this is a simple filter Let's put the show the tracking generator here it will generate error the tracking but that but it still works uh, and show the frequency of the of the filter so you turn on the tracking by pressing here source and then amplitude on and here it is this is the frequency response of the of the filter here it, but it says source LO unlevel source unlevel so the something with the level of the uh, of the tracking generator. This error is only referred to the tracking generator, not to the unit. The unit itself is free with errors. So if I'll do a preset here and go back to the unit, out of the option you got zero errors. So if you do system and show errors, you got only the tracking generator uh, error. You can clear that as well and, and everything is fine. So the unit is fully tested in a good working condition no errors only the tracking generator have a small issue here and this is the actual unit for sale loaded with option as said so it's very very sophisticated unit